A 24-year-old man had died of heart attack while he was playing badminton in Hyderabad. A 28-year-old man had died of heart attack while he was just celebrating a victory in Karnataka. Why is it that people as young as 20s are dying of heart attacks and yet none of us are giving enough importance to heart health irrespective of our age? Yes, it's high time we do that. And what if I tell you that your heart health has a direct relation to your gut health? Yes, your gut health makes a difference to your heart. And I'll give you an example for that. Let's take an example of a pomegranate. Most of us have had pomegranates and we all know that pomegranates are extremely healthy, especially to your heart. Even Ayurveda says, Dardima is Hridya. But yet, all of us are not aware that this property of heart health is almost related to your gut. Why is that? Let's say you have a pomegranate and these pomegranates have something called as elagitanins which gives its bitter or astringent taste in the end of eating a pomegranate. And these elagitanins can get converted into something called as urolithin A which has a direct impact on your heart. It has a direct impact on your mitochondria and mitochondria improves your energy levels and these energy levels have a direct impact on your heart health. These urolithins also reduce the inflammation in your body, reduces the load of your heart, reduces your blood pressure and improves the muscle functioning so much so that athletes today are consuming urolithin A to improve their endurance. So something as simple as pomegranate has such a huge impact on your heart by getting converted into something called as urolithin A only in your gut. And let me tell this to you, only 40% of the people who consume pomegranate can convert elagitanins into urolithin A. Why is that? Because almost 60% of the people today do not have the right proportion of microbiomes to convert elagitanins into urolithin A. And only if the conversion happens, this urolithin A can help you and ultimately it helps your heart. Now, my question is, how do we do that? Is the answer just probiotics or is there an answer beyond that? Yes, there is an answer beyond that and I will be talking about that in the next video.